What is up guys, I'm Charles Williams, aka The Swole Faster here to educate you on health and social well-being. This is episode 7, running my own race. It's Wednesday, it's SBD day, y'all already know. Four weeks out from USAPL Raw Nationals. Here with the homies, Anas, Michael over there, you know. Same 4KG, SBD day, as usual on Wednesdays. And uh, I mean, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna talk much for this intro guys. You guys already know what we're doing, you guys already know what's up. Let's get into it. So, top set of squats felt really good, really, really smooth. Um, I, I, I noticed that it's almost like I paused at the bottom because I was trying to make absolute certain that my depth was on point, but I gotta stop tripping over that. Like like I told you guys before, I only slightly worried about that because I'm still getting used to a slightly wider stance, but at this point, it feels easy, it feels natural. I don't even have to think about getting in position for the stance anymore, but I was still overthinking my depth just a little bit, uh, which is why I can see like I kind of paused at the bottom, but then once I'm stuck moving it up, Felt really good and smooth. Back down sets are flying uh, for me anyway. But uh, the only thing is, even though I like how flat the notorious lifts are, these are, they're actually like I told you guys, they're Michaels, just let me borrow them. And Michaels foot's a little bit smaller than mine. So if I order a pair, I'm gonna need to make sure I get like one size up, just so that way I can feel really stable. Because right now they're so small to where it almost feels like I'm having, like, it's like tucking in on me a little bit. Um, but other than that, it's moving really good. Gonna get to the rest of these back downs and get to deadlifts. Go, Michael. That's it. Come on, boys. work, work. Ready? Oh, oh yeah! Oh, come yeah. on! Yes, oh, sir. Yeah. yes, sir. Woo! Yeah, boy. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, goodness. Oh. Alright, so as you guys saw, 518 moved so much better than the one before that, which was uh, 496. It's just because I just got aggressive with it, stopped thinking about it. I don't know why I'm overthinking my position so much today. Like, like at this point, we're four weeks out, there's no need to overthink it. I just got to do what I know to do and just drive into it. So, I think I'm going to make one more jump, do the same thing, and that should be good for the seven. Come on, let's go. Let's try it. Push. Yeah. Yep, come on. Yeah. Down. Alright guys, so top set moved well, felt really true to the seven. Ah. Uh, I loosened my grip up just a tad bit once I wedged, just due to the pain, and that threw my starting position off just a little bit compared to the last warm up. But I now know that's really the key for me. It's like once I wedge into it, in order to stay aggressive and stay tight, I just got to grip the bar as tight as possible after setting my hook. And I feel like the way I've sub the reason I've subconsciously pulled away from that is because it just hurts. Even on that back, that first back down set, like it just felt really, really bad um, on my thumb. So I'm gonna give them a break. Go ahead and strap for my last two back down sets. I, I hate it because I just don't pull well with straps because I, I don't use them, and my position feels really off having to like start and brace at the bottom set at the top. But just gonna 
do it for these last two back down sets to give my thumbs a break and then move on to the bench. I guess so bench warm-ups are moving spectacularly right now. I, I fully trust myself with the faster eccentric and it's making a huge difference with being more explosive off the chest and I can still maintain full tension position. I've also gotten in the habit of after I do squats and deadlifts eating something light whether it's a bagel or peanut butter or a sandwich just to keep my energy up and that's been going well so we'll see what we got for the single at seven. workout meal that uh wifey mrs wolf festival made for your boy anyway guys um today was amazing like honestly today felt fantastic everything felt better than last week and it moved better than last week like despite the fact that it was heavier despite the fact that rps were a little bit higher like it just it felt good like like i said i didn't overthink my position quite as much on my top sets this time around as what i did before and as we get closer to me that's it's just going to be less and less of me overthinking stuff and overanalyzing stuff and just getting on the bar moving and doing what i need to do bench especially felt great i have never ever moved 330 pounds like that man like easy rp7 honestly more like rp6 and a half to seven at worst like it, it just felt really good back downs felt amazing i've never moved 292 for four sets of four so easily like eight, like before last time i did that weight for like a four set four sets of four i'm pretty sure i ended up having to break it down to triples but i was able to do like the straight sets of four no problem my back down sets on everything felt good like honestly everything just felt really smooth that's the best word for it everything, today was like a a smooth SBD day. Uh, but other than that, man, there's, there's really not much to say, man. You guys, you guys already know what, like, what these videos, these SBD day videos are like right now, man. I'm just showing you what's up, letting you keep track of my, where your boys are as far as the progress. Oh, I do want to say, man, so today is Wednesday. The, the launch for the pre-order of the Craftsman shirts happened Monday, and I appreciate y'all so much. Like, like, honestly, it's just like, two days. Like, it, it doesn't close until, uh, Sunday, Sunday, uh, September 22nd. So if those of you still want to order a shirt, you definitely have time. I'll have the link in the description down below to the Instagram post detailing what you need to do if you want to order a shirt. But like y'all have far exceeded my expectations already. So I'm very grateful to all of you. It's just cool. It's cool to like to have something that you guys really vibe with as far as the message behind it and wanting to support it. Like it just means the world to me. But yeah, I just want to take a quick second to say thank you for that already. But that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go and comment down below. Let me know what you did. If you're not, leave a comment down below. Let me know what I could do better. Like the video, share, subscribe. Keep it simple, specific, scientific. I'll catch you guys later.